Hey guys, Daniel Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. Ha <laughs> ha! Whatever part of the world that you are in. Um, okay, I'm right here. we're going to dig up our second row of taters here. Uh, we're getting ready to get into fall. And uh, I just wanted to talk about, somebody had asked me if I'm still prepa uh, prepping. If I still live a, you know, I guess live a preparedness lifestyle. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, man, everything, everything that I do, uh, here on our little home place, uh, in my very humble and uneducated opinion is for me preparing, uh, whether it be growing extra section of garden, whether it be, you know, building on extra pens or a greenhouse or bringing on different animals, uh, the orchard and the berries. Uh, every season we try to add something, uh, some sort of improvement to our little home place here that will help us um, be a little more prepared for if and when. My biggest preparedness uh, is for winter time and the early summer storm season because those are the things that I know for certain happen every year without fail. Winter is coming every year and there's going to be a storm season every year. Uh, and, and other things that might happen in the world, you know, everything's a possibility, man. There's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in the world with the economy and the potential of war and there's all kinds of uh, craziness out there. So the way I look at it is if we're ready for a nice, long, hard, brutal winter time, then we're ready for just about anything because winter time could ruin you if you're not ready for it, especially when you live out in the hills and you're not easily you know, accessible to... Uh, town and all the things that town has so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working here so everything that we do is is a form of, of being prepared whether it's like this is a potato patch but we've let it grow up there's a lot of clovers and there's a lot of dandelions in here that we're gonna pick and we're gonna set them uh, into a little pile and we're gonna let them dry out and that's gonna be part of our winter food for our rabbits and our chickens and our goats this coming winter time um, a lot of people will throw it into the compost and stuff like that, and that's great. If you don't have animals, that's exactly uh, the good thing to do. But we have lots of animals that need these greens uh, during the winter time. So this helps. One, this is free. It just grows out of the ground. There's a nice red. And two, it's uh, less stuff that we have to purchase using any kind of, any kind of money that you know we'd have to try to earn. So this is what we do. Before we come through here picking our potatoes, we'll come through and we'll pick out these weeds, these clovers, these dandelions, and all the other types of weeds that are in here and save them as a form, I guess, of hay. We won't bale it as hay. We'll just dry it out and put it into a feed sack and then disperse it through the wintertime. So as far as uh, preparing, uh, yeah, man, I everything that I do, in my opinion, is geared towards uh, being prepared for whatever the reason is whether it's uh, you know testing out a new piece of gear like I make a lot of videos about our our, our, our ovens our sun ovens and uh, the silver fire the uh, the rocket stoves and stuff and I do that just to share with everybody that this is a good piece of gear and it comes in very handy so there you have it guys uh, I hope this answers your question I hope it helps and I hope it understands uh, a little bit more about you know our lifestyle and uh, some more of the reasons of why we do the things we do we just want to be I just want to be you know independent I don't want to be dependent on on anybody so I like to try to be independent and produce as much as I can on my own and use what I have whether it's even just a weeds growing in the yard in the garden uh, as animal feed to try to utilize everything we have to uh, its maximum potential so there you have it Hope that helps guys. We're gonna get back at it. Start digging up some taters. We got red red taters planted in this row. And I hope they did well. And it looks like they did. So nice red potatoes. That'll help us get through the winter time, man. So there you have it guys. Uh, hope this helps. Quick, uh, quick tater talk. <laughs> so I hope everybody's uh, enjoying the fall and I hope everybody is getting ready for the winter time because it is coming so you guys thank you very much for watching y'all have a great day god bless me in buzz buzz the end